And we welcome Texas Governor Greg Abbott. He joins us live from Austin. Governor, again, thank you for your time. And, and I want to start with the shelter. Sure, Oscar, my pleasure. Yeah, I want to start with the shelter at home orders announced by Hidalgo County leaders. They go into effect uh, midnight tonight. It's for about a two week period. It includes uh, some cur a curfew, travel restrictions, and requirement to use facial coverings when outdoors. So Hidalgo County Judge Richard Cortez says some parts of the orders non enforceable. Uh, considering the situation here in the valley, and, and I know you have spoken with our local leaders today, and you also have a, a, a couple of your folks speaking in person with our local leaders, but you know the situation at the hospitals at capacity and over capacity. Uh, if not all local leaders, most in the medical community describe the situation as dire. And now with regards, are you considering making an allowance uh, in this situation for at least for county local leaders being able to enforce some of the orders they have out now or it will be in effect here soon. So here's what we're doing. We are going all in as a state uh, to make sure that the Rio Grande Valley, which includes in particular Hidalgo and Cameron counties, will have everything they need to be able to respond uh, to the situation as it exists right now. And very important for your audience to know is exactly what you were highlighting, and that is uh, you're having record-breaking number of people testing positive, record-breaking number of people who are hospitalized, including in the intensive care units, as well as, unfortunately, far too many deaths. Hence, uh, what County Judge Cortez has done, and you're seeing the same thing happen uh, with County Judge Trevino over in Cameron County. They are, they are making very clear uh, to everyone who lives in their counties in these regions that the public needs to take this very serious. They're implementing measures uh, to make sure uh, they're able to you know, reduce the amount of people who are getting out, exposing themselves to COVID-19, and we are working with them to make sure they have every resource they need. We've already provided more than 1,200 uh, medical personnel to the region. We're going to be adding more medical personnel, more hospital rooms, as well as uh, additional alternative facilities where people who test positive for COVID right. will be able to access health care. Bottom line is we're going to make sure we do everything we can, but I have to emphasize this. It is essential that everybody, not just leaders, but every resident in the Rio Grande Valley understand you need to be wearing a face mask or face covering when you go out. Every doctor says that it's one of the best things you can do to slow the spread. Even if you are just gathering with family and friends, you need, you need to be wearing that face covering so that you will not wind up in a hospital, so that you will not cause one of your loved ones to get sick and maybe right. even die. Right, and, and Governor, they, they were looking for uh, at least being able to enforce some of the orders that they have out. And, and I know that's been a discussion and I see it in this press release out of your office. That's one of the things they discussed today. So right now it, it's still, you're, you're not allowing them to enforce Force it, or at least the state not backing them up with some enforcement leeway. So, can you be a little bit more specific, maybe, as far as why you're holding off on that? Well, understand this, and that is there are parts of their orders uh, which they have the complete latitude to enforce, such as uh, the curfew. Uh, that is the authority that uh, local county judges uh, always have, including right now. And it's my understanding that I think both in Cameron as well as in Hidalgo counties, uh, they intend to be enforcing curfews. Uh, that is one of the strategies to make sure that they reduce the number of people who are out and about. They also, it's my understanding, are enforcing uh, several of the orders that I have issued. One is the requirement that everybody who goes into public wears a face mask. Also, part of my executive order is the requirement that people gather in groups not larger than 10. And so they are basically working to enforce the strategies that I have articulated in my executive orders. And it's that enforcement component, the compliance component that we talked about today that collectively, we wanna make sure that everybody in the Rio Grande Valley understands they need to follow these orders because it's in their uh, best interest for their own health for the health of their loved ones and their family members to make sure they follow these orders. Okay, let's let's get to uh, pop-up tents or tent facilities. Uh, they have been ruled out as far as providing, at least in using those facilities to care for convalescing uh, COVID patients or the less serious COVID patients. Other structures though, like the hotels, uh, are being thought of as a, a place to create more bed space, to create more 
bed space for hospitals. Uh, state emergency management officials coordinating with local leaders. They're here in the valley today. So what is the status of those plans? So one reason why we wanted to spend time talking to local leaders today, including hospital leaders, is, is to understand exactly how many hospital beds are available, how many can be made available, uh, and we, we learned that uh, hundreds of hospital beds can be made available. Understand this, and that is the best location uh, for someone to be treated medically is not going to be in a pop-up tent, but it's going to be in a hospital room itself. And so we wanted to make sure that they were able to do that. The, the shortcoming they had, which we are capable of providing, Providing is the personnel who can staff those hospital rooms and those hospital beds. And so we will be providing the personnel to make sure that uh, there will be rooms and staff to treat people in the Rio Grande Valley who test positive. The hotel rooms understand this, and that is the hotel rooms aren't for the, the severe uh, infected patients. These are people who are on the pathway to recovery, and they really don't need to be in a hospital any, any longer, but they can't go home because they can't expose their family members to COVID. And, having their own private uh, hotel room uh, is a good place for them to rest for a couple of days until they can go home. All right, Governor. Uh, and uh, let's, let's get to, uh, to schools reopening. And um, one thing you're hoping for, at least in a lot of us here, uh, parents and, and uh, also those in education, hoping that these in-school instruction delays in some cases till November will help lower the amount of cases. So if so, what would be the contingency plan for districts that see increases in student and teacher infections after that? Sure, so you, uh, you mentioned contingency plan. I'll give you another word for it that we uh, have ensured that the Texas Education Agency has a part of its plan and that word is flexibility. All of these school districts in all the different regions of Texas have to have flexibility as we work our way through this pandemic. So it means like you were talking about, if a teacher or a student test positive for COVID during a time when they are in school, uh, it, the, the plans exist already in advance for the schools to be able to close down and sanitize the school while the students continue the process of learning uh, through distance learning programs, online learning uh, with the best education provided by teachers. To assist that process, the state of Texas has provided $200 million uh, to provide assistance for uh, the, the t technology uh, and all the strategies needed to make sure that all students will have access to that online learning. Governor, again, we thank you for your time. Uh, all the best to you. Thank you, Oscar. All the best to everyone down there. Be safe and follow those rules. Thank you, Governor. We'll be right back.